Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know I'm in Wizard 101, but that's mostly just for the background music. Um, I'm not actually going to be playing Wizard 101 today. As you can tell by the title of the video, this is my 1000 subscriber special Q&A video. Um, I got quite a few comments saying, Noah, what, what are you going to do for a thousand subs? Whatever. Um, I couldn't really think of anything specifically like magical or fantastical to do, but I was like, you know, a Q&A could work, and a lot of people seem interested. I got a few questions, um, uh, I mean, I didn't get, like, a ton of questions, but I got a few, um, please, uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will respond to any question you have, but it's the Q&A, boys. We're here, we're now at a thousand subs, I can't even believe I've gotten here. Again, I can't thank you enough for that. I'm genuinely shocked it happened, um, but I I did it. We did it. Not I did it. You guys did it. I didn't do shit. I just sat here and uploaded every day. So uh, we're gonna get right into the questions. Okay, I'm gonna try to spend about a minute or more on every question and see how that goes. Um, I do only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions right here, but um, again, please let me know if you have more questions in the, um, in the comments below, and I will answer this as well. So, first question on the list, why the name? Kaiser Noah, the name of my YouTube channel, um, has, I've been going by Kaiser Noah for about four or five years now on the internet. Um, it wasn't always my username, I did used to have a different username that, uh, I challenge anyone to see if they could find it. Um, I'm sure they probably could on my older videos, you could probably find it but nonetheless why kaiser noah well um if you do not know kaiser is what the title of the german um king was or german emperor um for example kaiser wilhelm um wilhelm the first wilhelm the second uh basically those like why did i pick kaiser well besides the fact that it sounds pretty cool um I do have some German ancestors, which is pretty cool as well, um, but there's actually a few content creators on YouTube that also have Kaiser in their name, and I just thought it sounded really cool, so I was like, why not? Also, I've always had a very large fascination with history, and the German Empire is one of the most fascinating um, empires of them all. Uh, do, I do I support Germany? Uh, no. No, I don't. Um, I think... Um, one guy who is, um, insulting me on my PSA video, um, who was insulting me for, you know, warning children about, um, people in a game that could be creepy. Um, they were like, you're a fascist sympathizer. And that is the furthest thing from what I am. I absolutely hate fascism, but that's besides the point. I'm not going to go too far into that. I would just like to say that's not the meaning of my name. My name has never meant that I support anything of that like. It's more of an interest and kind of not, I guess you could say respect of the German Empire and German traditions. There was also the Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, all of those things work. They are interesting systems. I would say if you are interested in history, please look them up. They are very interesting. I've always found them interesting anyway. And uh, that is where my name came from, and that is what it means. All right, next question. What inspires you to keep playing Wizard 101 and Pirate 101? Well, the answer to this is actually really simple. It's you guys that inspire me to keep playing Wizard 101 and Pirate 101. I would do it anyway, even without my YouTube channel. Probably play it every once in a while, but I wouldn't play it nearly as much. Um, but definitely a large... Uh, and significant reason that I play Wizard 101 and Power 101 still is because of my YouTube channel. Um, I used to play this game all the time. Like, literally, in the Steam version, I have about 500 hours in game in, um, the, uh, in the non-Steam version, I probably have multiple thousands, probably closer to 8,000, which is you know, just shows you how much I played. Like, the Steam version only came out a few years ago, and those 500 were basically all my Balanced Let's Play series. And keep in mind, I have 
so many characters that are above the level of my balance and I've spent way more time on. I really wish, ah, I forgot how loud that is. I really wish they had like a game statistics thing so you could see how many hours you've played, maybe how many mobs you've killed, stuff like that, that I would find to be really interesting. But, um, why I keep playing it, despite playing it for that long, is because it is one of my favorite games. I'm not gonna lie and say that I dislike the game, because I don't dislike the game. I think that the game still has a lot of charm to it, still has a lot of replayability. Um, realistically, the people who say that this game doesn't have replayability are the people who only play it for PvP, and the reason why they only PvP is because they're not interested in the game that has story. They're interested in a game that has PvP, which I just don't understand. That's not... My brain doesn't think like that. My brain thinks like, does this game have a good story? Is it cool? Is it fun? And if the answer is yes, then I'll play it. Which is why I play this. Why I play Star Wars The Old Republic. Why I play so many games that I play. It's not that PvP is interesting for me and that the combat's interesting. It's that the story and actual game itself is fun. And I think that Wizard 101 is fun. And I think that while King's Isle has been making some questionable changes, I think that the game is looking up now. I feel like some changes will come that are good. And um, I don't think it's going in a bad direction. I'll be completely honest. Um, Pirate 101 is similar to that, if not more than Wizard 101, because I actually really do enjoy the combat of that game. And I really enjoy how it's set up. And I cannot wait for when they finally introduce the update that adds level 70 and adds um, more content to the game. I think it's going to massively set a new interest in the game and people will start wanting to play it again, which in my opinion is really good. So that's that question definitely answered. I answered that way longer than I had to, but um, that is what inspires me to keep playing Wizard 101 Power 101. If you could create a Wiz class slash school, what would it be? Tank, DPS, or healer? Would you create a shadow only school? Let me know your thoughts. So I don't know if this question means... Okay, if I could create a new school. So the problem with new schools is, and I've thought about this for a long time, is that they would totally upset the balance of the game. There is a healthy balance right now between the seven schools, and that's because they've been built up from the ground this game has on those specific schools so it's no wonder that adding a new school would unbalance it but i think this game needs a different um type of defensive school a type that isn't um let's go to mushu and chill in mushu um also if you're wondering how i have a membership um currently right now the two dollars a month uh caramel uh not caramel pack what am i saying spellemental pack thing um, accidentally glitched and gave people membership. So I now have a membership until they fix that. But anyways, moving on. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, a new school. I would definitely want something that is tanky. I feel like <coughs> obligatory once a video sneeze. There it is. Um, I think something that is more tanky would be nice. I think what would be cool is if they Right, Here, here's my thing that I think would be cool. And I've seen this before. Um, I think it's in my comments. Someone said, I think it would be really cool if in the coming arc, they let you choose between keeping Shadow and removing Shadow. And I think that would be really cool because Shadow obviously does seem to have some corruption to it, but Shadow is obviously really powerful and interesting. I think it would be personally cool if they introduced a new type of school to counteract shadow so you could almost become more balanced and that be like something like maybe a light school or something like that right so um in the coming arc your wizard needs to learn these light spells before the corruption of the shadow um overtakes them completely i think something like that would be cool and where shadow is incredibly offensive I think it would be really cool if light was defensive and tanky. So, for example, you can see all the shadow spells do massive amounts of damage. Um, this is true for all schools. So, the shadow spells are some of the most powerful spells in this game. I think it would be really cool if they had a light school that was more... had different effects to it. Like, for example, say... Uh, 
there's a few heal back spells that are like high level with light. Um, something that like puts shields on you, something that like weaknesses the enemy, stuff like that, where it's more benign. It's less damage, but still a lot of effects, which would be really cool. So for some, for example, a new spell comes out that's a light spell, like a light enhanced spell like these, where it's like, it does the damage, a little bit less damage than Rage Bolt, but gives like healing to your allies, something like that. Um, obviously, I'm no creator of the game, game designer. Um, you know, it would have to be balanced. I don't know how to balance it personally, but I think something like that would be a cool idea personally. All right, next is, um, what is the best video game you've ever played? Well, my favorite game of all time is probably Skyrim. Um, I have a lot of hours in Skyrim. Um, I do really enjoy the game. I think it's one of the best games created. Uh, probably more from nostalgia than it actually being one of the best games ever created. But it is a really good game. Um, mods just further make the game that much better. And honestly, I was thinking of someday streaming or recording Skyrim videos. Because those are... Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time. And I could play it a hundred times over. And I would find it amazing. So... Definitely Skyrim is my favorite game of all time, but some other games that I really like are like Europa Universalis 4, which you guys probably don't know. It's a map game, um, I'm a history map game that I have like 3,000 hours in because I spent way too much of my 16 and 17 year old self playing that game. So there's that. Star Wars Battlefront 2, I have about 600 hours in that. Really fun game, definitely. Uh, Heroes vs. Villains is an incredibly fun game, uh, game mode. I just do really like it. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was one of my favorite games as well of all time. That's basically it. Um, Jedi Fallen Order, Star Wars, is also a really good game. All of those games are things that I would be able to replay for hours because I just enjoy them that much. All right, next question. Has Wiz ever helped you with mental issues or, or mental health? Sorry. Yeah, with any mental health issues. I would laugh at this, but I don't want to sound rude. No, I, I wouldn't say Wizard 101's helped me with any mental health issues. Um, definitely as a fun game, but if anything, with my YouTube channel, it's actually harmed my mental health issues a bit because I now have this constant anxiety not really anxiety but need to upload and gain the approval of the people who watch my videos so it's something that every youtuber goes through don't 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 think it's me exclusively almost every youtuber has that where they they fear that they'll you know lose their subscribers or whatnot because people stop liking them um that's something that's just a natural human fear and i don't think i'm special because of it but I definitely wouldn't say that Wizard 101 has helped my mental health issues. Um, maybe slightly because the game's kind of cool, but um, I got the Vim's just here. I felt like he would disappear once we finished that quest, but I guess not. Um, so yeah, there's that. Two more questions left, and they're both decently cool questions. Not that any of these were bad questions, but they're cool questions. What is the future of your channel going to look like? Actually, wait, one second before I talk about this, let me blow my nose. Alright, I blew my nose to make myself less sniffly. Um, what's the future of my channel going to look like? Well, that is a good question. So, first off, um, channel in the future definitely going to keep wizard 101 and pirate 101 as a present thing on my channel the pirate 101 let's play series is not leaving i do enjoy it the possibility of the balance let's play series coming back is also decently high because i do kind of want to do polaris and mirage again um the only thing i'm worried about is that i'll finish polaris and i'll finish mirage and then i'll get to imperia and get burnt out again and then stop recording it again but i will try to 
focus on that again because I, I am a bit disappointed that um, I haven't really even, at least finished Polaris. I'm just kind of in the middle right now, episode one, 111, just in the middle of Polaris. So I think it would be cool if I, you know, did that. Also, I'm almost at the Arcanum. So all the more reason to start it up again at some point. I just do need to get a membership, which brings me to the second thing on my YouTube channel that could possibly help me get a membership is the fact that now that I have a thousand subs, I can start monetizing my videos. Um, I don't think it's not, I've never made this channel for making money. That was never my design and it never will be my design because I don't think I can even make that much money, but I will, you know, enable super chats and I will, uh, stream, you know, with them on, uh, channel memberships, a thing. If anyone wants to do that, you know, whatnot, once my channel can be monetized, which YouTube needs to approve first, um, hope maybe, hopefully I can at least make some kind of money. If I can, um, if you don't know how it works, you need to make at least $100 before you're paid. Um, if I can even make that $100, that'll pay for a Wiz membership for 10 months even, right? So, if I can just do that, then boom, I have, you know, a possibility of how I will um, start recording Wiz content, more Wiz content again. Um, I can actually right now afford another membership. I'm just waiting until I find it absolutely necessary, but that's basically the future of my channel. Um, I do plan on making other types of videos as well in the future. Um, again, something like that. Someone recommended I actually use my Twitch account for other games, which I actually found was a really interesting idea was, um, I stream myself playing other games on Twitch and I record on YouTube with 101 and Pirate 101. So let me know if that interests you. Um, but I, I obviously can do that. Just let me know. I have a Twitch account. The t I, I am a Twitch affiliate, so I can get subs. I can get, um, donations. Whether I get them or not does not necessarily matter. Uh, and that leads us to the final question, which is, do you enjoy school? Because obviously school is a large part of my life. It's why I can't do YouTube as like a more present part of my life. Um, but, um, do I enjoy school? I do actually enjoy school quite a bit. Um, I do, I've always liked learning and I do want to be a teacher when I grow up. I don't know if I've said that. I probably have. I'm a secondary education and history major. So, I'm going to be taking a lot of history classes, a lot of education courses, and it's something I've always been interested in. Um, if you can't tell by like the guide videos, for example, guide videos, in my opinion, are my favorite to make because I love teaching people about stuff in the game. Um, but yeah, I do plan on making more guide videos in the future if I can find things to make it on. Any new systems that come out, um, I will make guide videos on. That's a definite yes. Um, let me know if there's any guide videos you want me to make. But uh, back to do I enjoy school. I do enjoy it a bit. The only thing I dislike is how much time it takes out of my day. Um, because it does take a lot of time. I can't do YouTube more than I do now because I'm busy a lot of the time doing homework and stuff. Um, like, for example, right now I'm recording this after my first class in the morning and before my second class, which is in a few hours. Um, it definitely interferes with my day a little bit. But... Um, I'm not going to stop YouTube for it because I do enjoy YouTube. I mean, if I do need to, I'll s stop uploading daily and start uploading every other day or something like that. But I will still try to hold the daily upload schedule until, I don't even know, until the end of time. Um, not until the end of time, obviously, but that's the gist of it. That's all the questions I was asked. If you have any more, let me know. Um, I would like to add on to the future of my channel slash do I enjoy school. I feel like um, the possibility that I might make some money for my YouTube channel, even if it's only minor, would actually help greatly. Um, now, I'm not encouraging you to donate. If you don't have money, please don't donate to me. I want you to use your money and keep your money for yourself if you need it. Um, don't, don't, you know, give me money because you think I need it more than you because I don't need it more than you. Um, I, you know, I go to college, I might have college debt, but I will be able to pay that off eventually with my job. I don't need people 
I don't need, you know, everyone's help in that regard. The reason why I would ask for donations is because it makes it more viable in my head to do YouTube while doing college. Because I, it takes a lot of time out of my day to do this, actually. It takes about, say, 30 minutes to an hour every single day to record a video and then upload it and whatnot and think of ideas and everything. It probably takes an hour, and a, an hour and a half to do all of that daily. An hour and a half that I could be, you know, doing schoolwork in. Um, now, would I be doing that schoolwork? I don't know. But in my head, it just... Uh, I did not mean to get bottled of these things. It justifies it more to me if um, I can even make some money from it. But please, again, do not take that as a you should give your life savings to me. I don't think you should. I just think if I do get donations, that'll be really cool. It'll help support me as a person. And that's that. But that's it for this video. Um, the Q&A. Again, any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, like what questions you have. Um, anything that you want to ask me that wasn't answered in the Q&A already. Uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit the sub button. I appreciate all the support. Thousand subs is crazy. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.